Hi everyone, my name is Stephanie Tool, and I'm the Education and Outreach Manager here at the Maslin Museum. And I would like to thank you all for joining us during this virtual reception for Celebration in Art. This exhibition is on view in the Altman Health Foundation Gallery on the museum's main floor from Sunday, February 7th through Sunday, March 7th. 18 public and parochial schools are represented in the 2021 exhibition, which features work from students in kindergarten through 12th grade from schools in and around Maslin. We here at the Maslin Museum would like to thank the talented students who created the artwork in this exhibit, as well as their dedicated art teachers. We are so excited to be able to celebrate your talent and creativity, especially during what has surely been a very challenging school year. Each student who has participated in this year's Celebration and Art Exhibit has received a workbook by Maslin native and author Cyrus Osser. Younger students received I Am Great, an Affirmations workbook, and older students received Life and Career Choices, a career planning workbook. This is the Maslin debut of Cyrus's workbooks, and we are thrilled to be able to share them with you. Cyrus will give students a special message during this reception. We'll also hear from some of the amazing art educators whose students are featured in this exhibit, and we'll get to visit the Altman Health Foundation Gallery for a walkthrough of Celebration in Art. There might be some special visitors there with messages as well. So without further ado, I'll turn it over to Cyrus. First off, I want to say congratulations on being the great artist that you are. You don't know how your work will inspire this world, but I promise you it will inspire. So never give up that fire and continue creating. Never stop. And it's great that you got your artwork here, and it's great that you're displaying your artwork to the world, whether it's on your mother's refrigerator, whether it's in your room, wherever it's at, I appreciate the fact that you're giving yourself to the world in the purest form. Never stop, regardless of what anybody tell you, keep giving yourself to the world. And this is a part that I'm giving to the world. The first one is life and career choice workbooks, where it's about understanding yourself and then finding a path for what it is that you want to do. Do you want to be a doctor? Do you want to be an artist? What type of artist do you want to be and how do you go about it? That's what this workbook will help you for. And the second one is I am great affirmation workbook. I want you to understand how great that you are. It's activities like I am great and see how many times you can say it before you blink. I got to a thousand, can you beat my number? I just lied, but I figured you caught it as an artist. But anyways, it's I am great and I just want you to understand, truly, never forget how great you are. Hi there, my name is Casey Carter and I'm the principal at JMMS. To our artists who are participating in the celebration in art, I can't say enough great things about the time, effort, and energy that you all have put into your work resulting in being selected for the show. It's a testament to your talent and promise as an artist. JMMS is proud of you and congratulates you on the accomplishment. Hi, my name is Brian Petter and I am the very proud eighth grade art teacher here at Jackson Memorial Middle School. Just wanted to get on here and say congratulations to our amazing 20 uh, middle school students that are able to be recognized in the Maslin Museum. Also wanted to take a moment to thank the Maslin Museum for this awesome opportunity to recognize um, our amazing art students. More specifically for me, just wanted to say how proud I am of the 10 incredible art students that I had this year. These students are talented beyond their years and are so deserving of this recognition. So with that said, on behalf of myself and JMMS, we are super proud of you. Congratulations, and we can't wait to see what you do in the future. Hello, my name is Timothy Hoffman. Um, I am the seventh grade art teacher here at Jackson Memorial Middle School. I am really happy to be able to congratulate all 20 of the seventh and eighth grade art students who got their artwork into the Maslin Museum Celebration in Art Art Show. Uh, it was definitely a tough year, and they were dealing with modified coursework and they were able to persevere and still create very high level artwork that is ready to be shown uh, in an art show at a museum. Hi, my name is Sarah Andes. I am one of the art teachers at Jackson High School. I just wanted to congratulate all of our JHS and JSA students who are participating in this awesome opportunity and exhibit at the Maslin Museum. I am so proud of all the work that you have put in this year and in the past years that we have had you. Um, I cannot express how impressed I am with the level of ability and work that you put into each assignment and the creativity that you bring to the table every day in school. It makes coming into work the most enjoyable job in the world. 
and I tell you every day how lucky I am to be your teacher. I wish that the show was bigger and we can showcase everyone, but I'm so proud of the kids who made it into the show because this is a really special um, and small exhibit that showcases just 20 2D works from the high school. And I believe we have six 3D works from the high school, including some from our theater department. So this is really exciting because our theater department works so closely with our visual arts. So congratulations to all of the students who are presenting their work at the Maslin Museum. I really hope that you all take the opportunity while it's on display to go check it out. Uh, thank you, Maslin, um, for doing this amazing show uh, in the middle of our pandemic that's going on here, um, displaying the work and giving the opportunity for these students to still showcase their abilities and their amazing efforts every day in school. I really hope that the parents enjoy it as much as I do. I know I can't wait to walk through the gallery and see all the beautiful work from all of the schools that are presented, including our JMMS kids. So if you get the opportunity, please check it out. Again, congratulations, everyone. You are amazing artists. And thank you again, Maslin Museum. Hello, Mrs. Kelly here. I'm so proud of our MIS and MJHS students who have work displayed here at the 2021 Maslin Museum Celebration and Art Show. This is such a wonderful opportunity to show off our amazing young people and all the things are full going on. Here is my list for students who have work here on display. Sixth grade students. Lizzie, Phoenix, Alexis, RJ, Davion, MLOQ, Torres, and Pearson. Thank you, sixth grade students. These are my two seventh grade students, QB, KH. Thank you, seventh grade students. These are my eighth grade students, Hope, Emma, K. Bolin, and Aaliyah. Thank you, eighth grade students. Thank you, Maslin Museum, for allowing us this opportunity to show off. We appreciate all the hard work that goes into making this such a fun, fantastic event year after year. Thank you. Hi, students and families in Stark County. My name is Mrs. Peterson. I teach art at Piper Intermediate and Edison Middle School in Perry Local Schools. And I just wanted to take a moment to congratulate all of the students that have their artwork on exhibit this year at Maslin in the K-12 Celebration Show. Uh, I also wanted to thank Maslin for this opportunity for educators and students to showcase the talents of what's going on around the county. It's always a beautiful show. And I am so grateful that they're doing a virtual reception for families to participate in and just wanted to say thank you and congratulations to all of the artists. Hello, I'm Jennifer Fisher, the principal at St. Mary's School and proud contributing member of the Massa Museum. Thank you to the Massa Museum for hosting the celebration in art. While things look a little different this year, I'm pleased that we get to participate Congratulations to our St. Mary's participants. I'm constantly amazed at the talent you exhibit. I hope you feel as much joy seeing your artwork as I do. On behalf of Father Ed, the teachers and the staff, congratulations again. Thank you. Hello, artists and families. My name is Mrs. Davis. I'm the art teacher at TC Knapp Elementary School in Perry. Welcome to the 2021 Celebration and Art Show. The work is amazing, and I'm so proud of all the artists, especially our little Napsters who have their artwork here in the show today. I can't wait for you to see the show, and I hope you really enjoy it. Take care. On behalf of Tesla Local Schools, we would like to thank the Massa Museum for giving our students this opportunity to showcase their talents. My favorite thing about this yearly exhibition is that we get to see the progress of our art students from the elementary to the middle school to the high school. Hi, I'm Brian Robinson and I teach art at Tesla High School and Tesla Middle School. I would like to congratulate all the artists in this spectacular exhibition.
I'd specifically like to say how proud I am of my Tussle artists. We may be considered a small school district, but we are not small on talent. In a not so ordinary year, we were able to produce extraordinary artwork. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Shannon Clokey, third through sixth grade art teacher at Tusla. I just want to take a moment to congratulate all of my students who are participating in this exhibit. This has been a different sort of year, but every day you show up with smiles and enthusiasm for art class. And for that, I cannot thank you enough. Your art is fantastic and your hard work really shows. Congratulations. Hi, my name's Anita Souders, kindergarten through second grade art teacher at Tusla Elementary School. I am so proud of all that Tusla's young artists have been accomplishing this year, despite limited supplies and other challenges. Congratulations to all the artists with work in this year's show. I am constantly inspired by your creativity, perseverance, hard work, and positive attitudes. Great job. Once again, we would like to thank the Mousy Museum for putting this show on in such a difficult year. Having this show has been a bit of normalcy in a year that has been anything but normal. Thank you to all the students that displayed their work, and thank you to the parents who have supported these young artists. Hi kids, hi families, Mrs. Mullane here from Watson and Whipple Heights Elementary Schools in Perry. I want to congratulate my students who have artwork hanging this year in a Mass Museum show, Celebration in Art. They always put on such a great exhibit for kids. So I'm so excited for all of my students that are in it. From Whipple, um, Grant is in it. It has a piece in it, Haven, Sawyer, Delaney, and Parker. So congratulations, you guys, from Whipple. From Watson, Amelia, Kennedy, Natalia has a piece in the show, Claire. And then I have put together a collaborative piece too that includes the artwork of five students. And they are Silas, Angelise, Toby, Christian and Rachel. So again, congratulations, kids. I hope you get a chance to make it down to the Mass Museum to see your piece hanging on the wall in the exhibit. Enjoy this time. It's pretty special. Hello everyone and welcome to our celebration in art virtual reception. We've got Piper. And I think we have a special guest. Hi, I'm Meredith Self. I'm the art teacher at Edison Middle School in the Perry Local School District. Um, we also have our Piper Intermediate Schools works represented here today. And I just want to congratulate all of my students and Piper students on the talent and determination it took for you to have your work exhibit here today. I hope all of you will take the time sometime uh, during this month of the exhibit to come and see your work in person. And congratulations also to all the Barry artists. Oops, sorry about that technical difficulty. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we've got Maslin Washington High School up here. Fairless. TC now. Maslin Intermediate and Junior High. Lore Elementary, Genoa.
I think we have some more special guests over here. All right, hello. Hi there. I'm Mrs. Rusu. I'm one of the art teachers at Perry High School. And I'm Mr. Wang. I teach at Perry High School too. I teach digital photography and digital art. We just like to congratulate all of our art students on such a wonderful job and working really, really hard this year and never giving up. Um, hopefully, if they have time to come down and see their wonderful artwork, everything looks amazing. Perfect. <laughs> this is our wall. Here it is. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sorry about that, it doesn't want to stay up. All right, we've got some more Jackson over here. There's Perry, Tesla. Got the middle school. Great work. The high school at St. Mary and Franklin Elementary. And we've got Watson and Whipple Heights. Great job. Thank you everyone for tuning in. And we hope that you can make it to see the show in person. I hope you enjoyed this virtual reception for Celebration and Art. If you enjoy this virtual content, please be sure to like and follow the Maslin Museum on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. And you can visit our website at www.maslinmuseum.org. Hopefully you're able to visit Celebration and Art in person soon. The museum is open to the public free of charge Tuesday through Saturday from 9.30 to 5 and Sundays from 2 to 5. While you're at the Maslin Museum, you'll be able to explore two other new exhibitions that open the first weekend of February. My Community Through the Eyes of the 21st Century African American Child on view in the Fred F. Silk Community Room Gallery and presented in partnership with the Kent Area Chapter of the Lynx Incorporated. And Maslin's Pro and Semi-Pro Teams 1890 to 1926 in the Paul Brown Museum. Again, thank you so much for joining us and congratulations to the artists and their educators. We hope to see you at the museum soon.